All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video for you today. And I'm telling you what, it is hot out. It's already a scorcher. It's not even 9 o'clock outside today, and it feels like we're down in the southern part of the United States. But we are here in Ohio, and I think it's going to be about 97 degrees today. And it's already almost touching 90 with a humidity probably in the, the 90%. So we're just sitting here sweating. But hey, we wanted to take time out of our day to bring you a video on our new piece of equipment that we purchased for the property. We Today, we're going to go over a full review on this mower and what it is. It's a bad boy mower, the Rogue Edition with a 72-inch deck and a Vanguard 37-inch engine or 7, 37 horsepower engine. Getting tongue-tied here this morning, so... We, that's our goal today, bring you in, give you that full review on it, show you the features that it has, right? And then all the kind of bells and whistles, um, all that, so you guys can make an educated decision on if, hey, this mower might be good for your application if you want to purchase it, or maybe you veer away from it. That's your decision, but we want to be able to give you some value and educate you on what we have and why we purchased this mower. So without further ado, I'm sweating. Hopefully you're not sweating. Hopefully you're sitting at, at home or wherever you're doing in some air condition or maybe on a porch where it's cooler. But hey, let's bring you in. We appreciate you coming back to the channel and let's roll. All right, Gabester. Here we go. All right, guys. So right back here, we're going to start where all the magic happens. This thing right once again is called a bad boy mower. And let me tell you, it's a bad machine. We've already driven around mode one time with it and woo. We talk about some speed, some power, and it all starts right here at the, the back here. So what we decided to do, I think there's three different engine options for the bad boy. There's a Kawasaki, Vanguard, and I think there's different engines or types of engines within that brand. I think there's one more I can't remember. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's where it is. But we chose to go with the Vanguard, right? And this is the Vanguard EFI. And this is a well-tested engine. It came in at a little cheaper price point than the Kawasaki with the higher Kawasaki. But this one is 993 cc's. Plenty of power. Um, <clears throat> just just an easy engine to work on. Everything's laid out real nice. Real easy to get to your filter right here if you want to do your services. You have your engine dipstick over here for your oil. In, on this side here, you have your engine fill up, right? Right here below your engine dipstick, you're going to have your oil filter. You have your fuel filter right over here on this side. And I'm going to bring in closer and show you again. There's an a option right here that you can drain your engine oil extremely easy it already has a, a hose you just take the little knob off put it in your container and you're good to go but they really have the exhaust they have the exhaust coming out both sides i will say this gets quite a bit hot back here on this back panel they do have a heat shield in there but i think it might need a little bit more i'm not sure we'll see over time what it looks like but i don't want this paint to start to get too hot you know Start again right here. You got your air filter. You're going to have your fill up for your oil. You're going to have your dipstick for your oil. Your oil filter right here. Has really good um, layouts for belts and things back here. Your battery, obviously. You're going to have your fans for your hydraulics. It has two fill ups for your hydraulics with hydraulic filters down there below on both sides. Moving up here. Um, you have your your fuel filter coming to this side. You see some of the electronics in there, but right here is what I was talking about. This piece right here, you lower that down, and that's going to be your drain for your oil, engine oil. It does have the exhaust coming out both sides like I mentioned, right? Boom. And then you can see... The heat shield in there, I don't know if you can see it, but I might need a little bit bigger one. So we'll see what happens. Next thing we're going to cover here is one big reason why I chose to 
purchased the bad boy is because right down under here, if you can see, it has independent rear suspension, right? So it makes it more like a four-wheeler or a UTV. And that is so useful for what our property is. If you've been following the channel, you know we have hills, we have bumps. There's a lot of property that we have to cover. Right here on the front, you're going to have these. Once again, it just gives it that... It gives it that ability to independently move and just make your ride controls that much better. Okay. Um, on top of that, the comfort. You're going to have this seat. It is a spring seat that you can adjust the weight. With this seat, look at these armrests. Armrests make it so nice to be able to sit in comfort as well. You put those in. And you can just ride this thing super simple and easy. So that was one thing we really was looking for in a mower was something that was going to have a very good ride quality and also having the ability to have these nice large tires. We are thinking about putting rear ballast in them. I know they're not big tractor tires, but they still are 26 inch tires and they could probably give us I don't know, maybe 50 extra pounds in each side, which would help with stability, traction control. So we're going to test that out, and we'll bring that to you as we do it. Right here on the back of the seat, you're going to see this right there. You can raise that seat up, and you'll have easy access to below here. Very simple. That way you can work on your equipment if you need to. Um, there are two grease points here, so you have a zerk fitting there and a zerk fitting back there, and that's just for your throttle control. This doesn't have very many zerk fittings, which is really good. I noticed there's not any on the mower deck, which is kind of interesting to me. So you have two, two zerk fittings there. Let me go around here. You do have a zerk fitting right there. Um... And again, right here in the front. And that is for the deck. And it's on both sides. So there's four, six. Six grease fittings that I'm aware of. I haven't seen any more. But we'll have to maybe review the book and see if there's any more. But I don't think there is. I haven't seen them. So that seat can be moved forward and backwards. You can tilt it up to work on it. It does have a seat belt there. With that seat belt comes safety, so make sure your ROPs always are up. It does have the ability to lower your ROPs, but I would always recommend that they are up unless you're hauling it or something like that. So the Bad Boy Rogue comes with two fuel tanks, one here and one on that side. And it does have a gauge here. And I mowed our property which is probably four four and a half acres took me well there's two 2.8 hours on it not all that was mowing but the fuel didn't go down at all and this thing holds about 10 gallons of fuel um, to the top i don't know what the spec says but it holds about 10 gallons of fuel in both so five in each right about there um, it does have a your PTO right here, pull up, PTO goes on. This right here is going to be your gauge. This is not in inches, I don't believe. Um, so I don't know what the numbers are for, but you basically adjust the height of your, your deck, your throttle, how many hours. It does have a USB for maybe if you want to charge your phone, something like that. Your key to start up. Down here you have your lock for your deck. All you have to do is push that right there with your foot to the all the way up. You can lock your deck if you're transporting. With your throttle control arms, they are adjustable if maybe one is a little bit forward than the other. And you're kind of turning as you're going straight. You can adjust those to make them track properly. You have an emergency brake right there. Now the way you start this is you have to have these arms in the out position. Pull that one out, buddy. 
in the out position with your emergency brake on engaged to be able to start it you have to be on it as well for that safety control in the seat once it's started you can lower your emergency brake but if you pull your gauge arms in with the emergency brake still on it will shut off which doesn't make any sense you would think that you would be able to pull your emergency brake at any time but that's not the case emergency brake can only be pulled and at running if the gauge arms or the throttle arms are out just a note all right another thing right here this right here has the ability this is your raise and lower for your deck it does have the ability i'm going to show you real quick to be adjusted if you may be shorter or taller this just comes out and you can slide it in those different holes you do have to remove that to access the mower deck so this right here does come up and then you have access to your deck all your pulley your belt things like that if you want to clean it off very easy once again it does have good labels on there if you're working on your equipment to show you how the belt goes back on that drops right back down and then you can put this right back where it goes now, i've heard a lot of people say that these this loosens uh, while you're driving i haven't had that issue but like again i have only driven it not even three hours moving on to the deck is you do have these right here where you can easily remove the cover to get to your pulleys or your belt and or if you want to clean it see like that so that's really nice and then you can just i see it buddy then you can just slide that back on and once again folks that I've seen online and on other YouTube videos has said that these actually work loose as you're driving. I haven't seen it so far, but we will keep you apprised of that. It does have a nice chute right here. You can get um, chutes that block it out so you're not blowing things into mulch beds. It does have three blades. One thing with the, the deck, these scalp wheels i have noticed that this right here um does dig in every now and then if you're on like a little hill so that'll be interesting we might have to adjust that so we'll we'll see what we do there two there in the front one here once again this side also has the ability to be removed it does have a step right there it does have these nice little bumper guards and this deck i'm tell you what it is a really high grade steel and plenty of durability i think it's going to hold up really well if you can see back there right on the back of the mower deck there's a rubber piece mounted on and that is actually come straight from a factory a striping kit so every one of these comes with a striping kit so that's pretty neat um, we'll see how well the striping works so right here in the front, you do have a two inch receiver uh, that you can move little trailers around or whatever you want to do with that. Chain hookups as well. Um, so that could be a good feature if that's what you would do. I probably will never use that, just being honest with you, but it's a good feature if you works for your application. Right here is a good place that you can hold stuff. One thing about this cup holder I do like is it fits my Yeti. If you're just taking a water bottle, you're probably not going to like that too well. But this is a, I can't even remember, I think it's a 32, yeah, 32 ounce Yeti maybe. Fits right in there. Gives you plenty of water throughout the day. So that is a good feature. One thing we did purchase and we're still waiting for it to come in from the dealership is a rear rack. Um, on the back, it'll go kind of over the engine here, and then you'll be able to strap maybe like a little weed eater down, something like that, so you don't have to be hauling it up here in your foot platform. But we're going to jump on here. We're going to start it up. We're going to drive it, show you exactly what it drives like. I'm not going to give you all the specs on how fast it goes, all that stuff, but let me tell you, it does have plenty of power that 
you know our property. If you watch the channel, if you've been watching the channel, you know the hills that we have here. We have a 14% grade on our driveway. Uh, we use the tractors to uh, box blade that and things. We have hills in front of our yard. They're probably about a 12% grade right on the right on the edge of the hill here uh, by the house. Um, and this never even bulked down. Uh, didn't even didn't slide going sideways. You take your safety measures, but I'm going to tell you what, it's, it's done really well so far in just the short time we've had it, um, the, one te the one drive we've, we've done. And I, and I haven't really driven zero turns very much, so I'm still learning it as well. So let's jump on here. We're going to start it up, and we're going to just take it up the driveway here just to show you. And again, you're going to have the emergency brake pulled. These have to be out for it to turn on. right then what you're gonna do if you put these in it's gonna shut off right makes no sense to me why if the emergency brakes on you put these in it shuts off you feel like you should be able to have your emergency brake on at any time because if you have this out like this you're on a hill you take your emergency brake out you start rolling I'd like to have the control right there but that's the feature they have I'm not sure why so once again, you'll have to bring these in lower, uh, after you lower your emergency brake. So start it up, turn your emergency brake off. Now you can bring these in to go forward, backwards. I'm sure you guys know that. Push this in. It's going to automatically lock down here. If you want to release it, you push up, put your lock out, and it'll drop down. So what we're going to do, Rev it up, and we'll go up the hill. before you pull your emergency brake. Doesn't make sense. Cuts off if you pull your emergency brake. So that's one feature I don't like. I don't like that emergency brake. Your safety issues, if you're on a hill, you can't pull your emergency brake. I don't like that. But hey, you see how fast that was. This is probably uh, 200, 250 feet from where we're at to the house. Um, and we just went up there. We didn't open it up all the way, but we, we rode it pretty good so comfortable it just takes the bumps real nice that independent rear suspension with also these bumpers uh those bumpers are to give it so much more stability there's some underneath the seat all that stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this review the quick walk around um providing you guys value that's one thing on the channel that we truly enjoy doing you know youtube and these videos they, they take a lot of hard work, sweat, and tears at times, and you know, it really makes all the difference when we get those comments it, below where somebody says, hey, thank you for that, that review, or thank you for that video. It really helped me out, or when you guys put questions in there, because I love giving you guys feedback. If you have questions about this, anything else that we do, put it in the comments, please. That's why I do this. It, it just does something to me, personally but also everybody here with the channel that we can provide you guys value that's what it's all about getting knowledge out to you guys if i can provide you knowledge awesome if not i'm going to continue to try but you know hey that that's from the heart i really do appreciate every one of you guys you guys support us so much we're getting close to that thousand subscribers and i just it's it's amazing how fast this is is went um there's a lot of work once again but we couldn't do it without you so thank you for continuously coming back to watching our videos and supporting us so without that check it out bad boy great mower till next time here on hill creek outdoors we'll see you